there's a lot of different things that you can do with Samantha. A lot of Samantha, Samantha. Okay. Uh, hey. hey everyone. Today I have a really fun DIY project for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these triangular shaped candle holders from cement. There are so many different projects you can do with cement um, and there's a lot of them out there. You may have come across some already and if you follow me over on my blog or over on Facebook then you probably see my post with the inspirations for this project. Um, so now I'm bringing you my own DIY and if you haven't seen that blog post I should say you should check it out because there's a lot of great cement projects listed in there and I believe they're all DIY so lots of great DIY cement projects for you to take a look at and if you want to see how I did this one then keep watching to get started you're going to need a cardboard box or a piece of corrugated cardboard that's in excellent condition you don't want to have any bends or tears or anything like that Grab yourself a pen and a ruler and follow these plans that I show here. We're going to be concentrating on the big triangle, the small one was just a test. So you're going to do an equilateral triangle which means all sides are the same length and all sides are 4 inches each. So we're going to do 3 of those if you want to make 3 of these candle holders. And then for each candle you're going to need 3 of these rectangular shaped pieces. So if you're doing three candles, you're going to need nine of these, which are two and a half inches by four and one sixteenth inches. Next, if you hadn't guessed, we're going to be drawing these pieces out onto our cardboard using our ruler and our pen. Next, cut out your pieces using your ruler and a utility knife for smooth, clean edges. Scissors won't work for this, you'll end up with extremely rough edges and we need nice clean edges. For each candle holder, you'll need one triangular piece and three rectangular pieces. Next, you'll need to tape one rectangular piece to each side of your triangle. To do this, you can use packing tape like I'm using or you can even use duct tape. I recommend packing tape because it's thinner and has a smoother surface. Since this is going to be on the inside of our form, duct tape will affect the texture of your cement. Once you have all three rectangular pieces taped to your triangle, you're just going to trim off the excess tape around the edges. Next you'll want to fold your rectangular pieces up so that the short sides match up and you're going to tape them in place to form your triangular form. Once you've done that, again, trim the excess tape. Next, you're going to use your tape to seal up your bottom edges, wrapping any excess tape around the corners. And finally, wrap tape all the way around your form to make it nice and sturdy. And this is what your triangular candle holder form should look like. Now you're just going to need to do this two more times or however many candle holders you want to make. For this next part, you're going to need six tea light candles stacked in groups of two, one on top of each other, so that you have three stacks, or however many candle holders you're making. Now you'll need to tape these stacks together, making sure to keep your tape nice and smooth. Just line your tape up along the bottom edge of the bottom candle and wrap it around. I feel like this is much easier if you do it in two pieces. Next, you'll need a long skinny strip of your cardboard that you'll want to be the height of one tea light candle. To make this cardboard nice and soft so it wraps around our candles smoothly, you're just going to squish it between your fingers to get out the stiffness. Next, wrap it around the base of your candle stack and trim it so that the edges butt up to each other tightly and secure it with tape. Now repeat this to the rest of your stacks. Having all your stacks ready to go, we just want to seal up the bottoms with tape so that no cement will get in. Once your bottoms are sealed up, you're just going to wrap them one last time in tape to smooth out any bumpiness from the tape that we wrapped on the bottom. Now is the messy part. We need to mix our cement. So I'm using this anchoring cement from Quickcrete. A lot of people use Rockite, which I could not find, and this was the product that sounded the closest. 
We want our cement to be a little more liquidy than the directions say, so we're going to do four parts cement powder to one part water and then adjust if we need to. Make sure to put your water in your mixing dish first and then gradually add your cement powder and stir vigorously. You want your cement to turn out being the consistency of cake batter. I should mention also that you're going to need a few batches of this. Once your cement is mixed to the appropriate consistency, you're ready to pour it into your forms. You don't want to fill the form all the way. You want to pour it so that it sits about three quarters of an inch from the top of your form. Use your stirring stick to push the cement into all of the corners and let it sit for five minutes. After five minutes, take one of your tea light candle stacks and place it directly in the center of your cement and push it down so that the cardboard ring around the base is covered. Allow the cement to set up for one hour. Now your cement should be hard enough to remove the candle stack from the center. With your form sitting on the table, place your hand firmly over the top of it and start trying to wiggle that stack out. This may take a little bit of work, but eventually your stack will pop out. Once you've removed all your stacks, let your cement set up for another hour. Now, using your utility knife or a craft knife, cut the tape along the corners and fold down the edges to free your cement from your form. Now you'll need to use sandpaper to smooth out any of your edges and any sides. This will also help get rid of any cardboard that may be stuck on your cement. Once it's nice and smooth, you're just going to rinse it under some water to get rid of any of the dust that was created as well as any leftover cardboard. And now it's time to decorate. This is the really fun part. So you can get really creative if you like, you can do whatever you want. Here I'm just using um, some Martha Stewart multi-surface acrylic craft paint and I believe this is the color Surf mixed with a little bit of a white. And I'm just randomly painting brush strokes on all sides of my candle holders. And then I'm going to go in around these strokes of paint and glue on some gold leaf. I'm really, really super happy with my final product. I really love the contrast of the delicate colors and the delicate gold leaf against that hard, cold, industrial looking cement. I think it looks really, really great. So have fun, be creative, and if you really like mine, of course, you can do it exactly the same. So that's it for this project, guys. I hope that you guys really liked it. If you did, make sure you click the thumbs up. That really helps me out. I'm going to be having another cement DIY project coming up shortly, so if you want to um, see that video, if you really like this one and you want to see that one, then make sure you subscribe to my channel so you'll know whenever I post that. Go and follow me over on my blog, thecreativeglow.com, and come and find me and follow me on social media. I will have all of those links in the description below. I hope you guys all have a super awesome day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!